she was using child care um, for personal purposes and not work related care is for school year care that had ended once school um, concluded for the year uh, be uh, reevaluated. Uh, a letter went out to Miss Melvin on May 31st asking her to provide verification as to whether or not child care was still uh, being utilized um, as charging um, within the next 10 days. She provided uh, documentation with a new child care form, which we received the same day on June 9th. I'm sorry, we received on June 9th, 2023, um, indicating that she is um, paying for approximately 20 hours a week of child care for all three minor children, uh, which is costing $420 per month. Uh, therefore, a letter went out to parties with the adjustment which actually lowered the child care costs, which from what was previously charging, but it basically assessed Mr. Knight $160 per month to contribute for the summertime care that she had submitted. Uh, he objected to that um, uh, cost and basically uh, indicated that he believes um, she was using child care um, for personal purposes and not work related care. And we're here today for. Um, information or testimony from the parties to determine um, what, in fact, the child care is being utilized for. Okay, so let's just start with Ms. Melvin then. Ma'am, um, can you fill us in on the child care and, and the request? Um, Your Honor, yes. Uh, so for the school year, um, I work second shift at the hospital, so it's been difficult to find child care for those hours. I work from 1230 to 11 p.m., um, and fortunately, I was able to find um, a babysitter that's out of school for the summer to help with those um, hours. Um, also, recently, um, I'm licensed in the state of Michigan to sell life insurance. So um, I am going to I would like to request more hours for child care because I'm going to need an additional 10 to 20 hours per week um, for that and also working for a catering company this summer, this summer doing weddings. In other words, you're, you're working three jobs at this time? Correct, yes. So is, is this child care for social or non-work related experiences or? No, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Knight, anything you'd like to add or did you, I didn't, we didn't, when I was reviewing the file, it didn't look like there was any proof that you had that this was non-work related so this is your opportunity to present any evidence you have yeah other than hearsay from my my children and my ex-mother-in-law i have no evidence at this point i'm just asking for documentation proving that the money i've been ordered to pay is for a predictable and consistent child care expense related to workers school and i'm asking for something more than a 16 or 17 year old girl's signature so ms mellon can you provide that to him I mean, that's um, more than a 16. I, Your Honor, I'm not really sure. Uh, is that something that would be required? It is difficult to find a nanny or a babysitter in this area. Child care is very difficult to find. And well, I, I don't know that I, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. That, that's the, the, the care provider signature he's talking about, correct? Yes. Well, I, I, I don't have any, there are, it doesn't seem to me like there are any issues with whether that person is providing the care. It's, I think he's looking for proof that it's work. He has no proof that it's not. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why we're here exactly, but. I'm asking for proof of payment as well. Okay. Um, I can provide documentation for all of that. Um, I have a letter from the uh, life insurance company that I'm working for and the uh, producer that I'm working under um, and also documentation of those hours. I can document hours at the hospital that I'm working in also at the catering company that I'm working for. And I use Venmo to pay um, the babysitter. So I'm able to provide documentation of all of that. Sure. And I think if you provide that to your caseworker, we'll, we'll, we'll be all set. I, I don't have any issues with the with the request. Um, and again, seeing no evidence that this is social or or non work related, I I believe that it is. Sounds like it's not just one job; it's three jobs. So, um, yes. if you can provide that, I mean, are you asking, sir, that she provide that every 
all the time or what, what's the request here? Cause no, I, I, we, gotta I figure this. I, we can't, we can't come to court every, every time based on mere suspicions. Okay. So what, what can we do? I, I'm asking for basically for proof of payment to this child care provider that has been a consistent payment throughout the summer so far. Sounds good, ma'am. You can do that, right? Yes, your honor. Yes. All right. Thank you both. And at, well, Your Honor, I just have one other question. Um, if I'm asking for an increase in hours from 20 hours a week to 40, I, would I just need to file with front of the court another um, another form? That's or, correct, because you know, he he he, would, he certainly has the the right to to object to that. And, and but you you kind of have an idea of what he's looking for now. Correct. Okay. Thank Your you honor. both.